Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Borg Warner. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Mark Bukowski is the Vice President of Advanced Engineering at Mitsubishi Electric, and you guys have come up with one of the coolest user interfaces I've ever seen before. Well, thank you very much, John. Yes, we're, we're quite proud of this, this uh, platform we call Inca J, and it's a mid-level platform for you know average vehicles, which includes driving up to three screens, but it overlays um, two different operating systems. It has Green Hill's real-time operating system for those safety critical 8S features that we've included. Overlaid in virtual uh, mode is the Android Automotive that we all know and love. So it's combining both safety and the functionality of Android onto one hardware, which is the Qualcomm 6155 platform. And, you know, some of the demonstrations here are, you know, uh, driver monitoring, passenger monitoring for safety, right? Yes, and again, that runs off the Green Hills RTOS, which obviously is a very uh, secure operating system. And so those safety critical things of the high definition locator that Mitsubishi Electric creates and also our driver monitoring systems will keep this as ADIS features and make sure that they're on the safe RTOS system. And one of the other things that you have is navigation, which is in the instrument cluster, not uh, necessarily the center screen here, that's real live video, but you're projecting your navigation route onto the road. Yeah, through a product we call our H high definition locator, we can get to centimeter level accuracy of where the vehicle is even better than GPS. So we worked with our partner, TomTom, Tom, who we all know and love, and use their maps and overlay it with augmented reality. And we can actually show where to turn in a, in a kind of carpet ride of where the vehicle is going based on the route planning. And finally, some more use cases with that centimeter level accuracy, we've set it up to where you can pay for parking in the vehicle because you know exactly what parking spot you're in and you can pay it as the car is a wallet. And again, it's through the use of the high definition locator technology. And even better still, it'll show you where there is available parking. Absolutely, and it's, it's an unmet need. And, and part of this is right, we want, as we drive more autonomous, we can have more features and it, it, we also want to do this, but we also want to be very safe in what we're doing. So we're, we're constantly balancing as the ATIS level increases, we can add more features so that if the driver's a little bit distracted, obviously it's, it's still very safe. Mark, as you know, when you look at all the quality surveys, the number one complaint for consumers is the user interface. So you, you must have put a lot of thought into how this all works and how you use it. Yeah, so our user design team works with what is basic Android and we create the whole user interface ourselves. And it's based on feedback and user testing over the years of what people like. Uh, this particular screen is a, a high definition screen. It's very large. Um, and also it's tied again into the, the cluster. So as you can see, the, the 6155 platform is driving both screens, but should be very user friendly and something similar to what we're seeing in our tablets as we keep evolving. So I know you've, you've shown this to car companies. What's the reaction? Everybody loves it um, and, and, and for different reasons, right? It's a mid-level platform. This time when we targeted Inca J, you know, the 6155, there are more powerful SOCs in the market, but we wanted to see what is the maximum we can do with this level of platform, because obviously cost is still a factor. Um, and just the features of implementing navigation with more augmented reality to improve that driving experience and make it more safe. I think everybody's been quite pleased. So when might we see something like this in production? You know, I'm going to ask you that. Sure. All of this is ready to go. Um, the features from uh, whether it's our partners in TomTom Tom or Alexa are all available. It's just, you know, getting it into the production stream. Uh, these technologies could be in production as two years from now without, without any issue. Mark Wachowski, I always like uh, talking with you. I always learn something and I get a little peek into the future. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, John. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. No matter what the mode of transportation, there is always the need for an efficient propulsion system. And that's exactly what Borg Warner has been doing since the earliest days of the automotive industry. 